What's up folks, Ethan here at Hunt Ford on a windy afternoon and this is a 2024 F-150 crew cab. Now this is an XL model, so this is gonna show you the baseline of what is now standard across the entire F-150 lineup. It's gonna have a lot of new features on the inside and a new grille design on the outside. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at this F-150. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so down below and hit that notification bell. We've got several of these new 2024 F-150s on the way and you are not gonna wanna miss it. So go ahead and hit that notification bell. That way when we post those videos, you'll be the first ones to catch it. That's enough of y'all watching my hair blow around. Let's go ahead and check out this F-150. All right, so this is a silver 2024 Ford F-150. The biggest thing that stands out is this all new wraparound style grill design here, as well as a sneaky change to the front and rear emblems. They used to have a blue with silver or chrome inlay for the lettering, but now they've made it just a stark white. It looks a little bit brighter and stands out a little bit better. Of course, the grill kind of comes out a little bit more and wraps a little more on the corners. But one thing to note is that the LED reflectors are standard on the F-150 now. Standard up until you get the LED projectors on the King Ranch and above. But this is your bare bones level grill and what it looks like. I'm a pretty big fan and I feel like, of course, with the LEDs, it makes it a little bit more modern looking. And I like that they kind of made them all feel a little more uniform across the whole lineup. On this XL, you've got the 17 inch silver painted aluminum with your Pirelli Scorpion ATR tires. These are kind of all terrain since this is a four wheel drive, but these are a good hybrid on road, off road tire. No change here to the side vent badge. That's gonna stay pretty similar from last year it kind of looks like they changed the design of the running boards or these platform running boards. They tuck a little more underneath the door panels, I feel like. And it just kind of closes that gap a little more. Coming back, got your standard four x four badge that used to be multicolor, but now it looks like it's just all one color. Got a black plastic grill here in the back. Ford's calling this the most safe F-150 ever because you've got your standard Ford Copilot 360 2.0 features. And that's gonna have your backup sensors as well as your blind spot monitoring. I'll take a look at those in the mirror here in a moment. But this is what I'm talking about on the badging is that this white used to be a chrome color, but now it just stands out a little bit more. Of course, we haven't gotten the new Pro Access tailgate yet. We'll do a separate video when, a, when we get our first truck with it. I wanna take a closer look at it versus just looking at it in a walk around, kind of show you the benefits of it versus the pros, cons kind of style video. We'll take a look at it then. In the bed of the truck though, there are now storage compartments that you can actually store straps, gear. Of course, this side will go away if you do have a Pro Power on board, but it is interesting to see them kind of pulling some of those features over from the Maverick especially, and it's a welcome surprise. You've got your tie down straps on both the front and the rear. And of course you've got your hidden bottle opener here on the sides. I like the stamped design of the F-150. Looks a little bit more low profile as well as it looks like they've changed the design of the standard tail lamps. These are obviously not LED. These are going to be the halogen tail lamps, but I like this kind of swoop and 
triangle design that they've done for the 24 model year. Quick look at the window sticker on this truck. As always, I'll post a better view of it on the screen. But this truck sticker is for $51,430. I'll also take a look at the payload sticker on the inside of the door for you. I know a lot of people typically like to see that. So again, this has the 5.0 V8 engine for $1,378. As well as you've got the black platform running boards and the electronic locking axle. This has a 331 electronic locking axle. That's that 331 actual ratio. On the door here, you're gonna have a payload capacity of 2,009 pounds. And you've got a total GVWR of 7,100 pounds. Again, this is designed as a work truck vehicle. So with the bare bones options, what do y'all think about the price? Let me know down in the comments below. A lot of the big changes, again, are safety related. So you've got your blind spot monitoring here on the side, but technology related here on the interior. We'll go ahead and get it started and take a look. But this is now your standard screen setup here on the F-150. So you have a 12 inch SYNC 4 wireless Apple CarPlay Android Auto screen here in the middle. And you've got your 12 inch productivity cluster behind the steering wheel. There are no more F-150s with the analog gauges in 2024. So this is a really, really big technology change for all of these models. But this dual screen design is now standard across the entire lineup, which just gives you a lot more access and information, even though it does take a little bit of time once you get started, if you're a little more patient rather than I am. Down here at the bottom, same kind of design here. Of course, this is a bench seat. Nothing really big change-wise down here at the bottom. You've got your camera buttons up here at the top. I was really hoping that they would take some of the design cues from the Super Duties, which we obviously noticed that they've had these designs out for a little while, but this kind of angle, it's a little abrupt. I like it on the Super Duty, how it's just one solid bar across the top. I think it looks a little bit cleaner. But this is a great change also to have the 12 inch productivity screen behind the steering wheel. Rather than have all of your gauges and clusters, now you've got a fully customizable screen. It's really easy to control, gives you your my view and some customization changes. We'll do a kind of point of view version. Of course, you've got your cruise control settings over here. This is a standard cruise control, but as a part of that Ford Copilot 360, you do have a lane keeping option. And you've got your phone settings and your wireless phone usage settings over here. You also have your typical transfer case control down here. Drive modes obviously change up here at the screen. And you've got your four high, low, and you have an electronic locker on this truck as well. This truck does have the 5.0 V8. This does not have the standard 2.7 liter V6. They actually killed the 3.3 liter V6, that, natu that naturally aspirated version that they had for a long time. So it's basically EcoBoost or V6, or you have the option for a Power Boost on some of the higher models as well. Here on this standard XLT, you have a column shifter. Of course, with the bench seat, you can't have a center console shifter. If it's windy outside, I'll go ahead and stay on the inside to close it out. But y'all let me know what you would like to see in the comments below. Again, we have a few more of these F-150s on the way. We have two XLT 302As coming in that are gonna have some of those features that we're familiar with. 
but a few different appearance upgrades that y'all are gonna wanna catch as soon as we get them. So let me know what you would like to see from those trucks and I'll be happy to take a look at them once we finally start getting them in. Other than that, that's about all I've got for you today, folks. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. As we post those videos of the other F-150s we've got on the lot, you'll be the first ones to catch them. That's about all I've got for you today, folks. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you later.